Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 17, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to follow us here on Ethereum and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So we can see that we have fallen quite aggressively the last three trading days and found major support here at the 20 exponential and bounce. And now the market has just opened. We are basically right here where we basically ended the last session. Technical indicators they are fairly mixed. MACD is crossing the signal line. Stochastic is uh, bearish at this point. CCI is flat and the RSI is flat. So this was um, quite a big bounce from the 20 exponential. I mean, bad people were basically waiting for and this to fall towards the 20 and then they just bought in so a lot of interest around this area we could see this uh, retested and probably also break the 20 exponential to go to the uh, middle of the bullish band before going higher from here but uh, we are still in uptrends these pullbacks have all been bought into and we're just going higher and higher in this market so let's go and look at ethereum so Ethereum has not been as bullish as uh, Bitcoin has uh, recently. It did outperform Bitcoin in, in this period here when we had major falls in Bitcoin. This was rallying. We did uh, reach roughly 2025 and then had this massive fall towards the 1278. And now we have rallied yet again. And um, we found support right here at 1908. And then we pulled back and found support at uh, at 20 exponential moving average so at this point technical indicators they are fairly mixed so we can see that the macd is still above the, uh, the signal line uh, stochastic is bearish the cci is flat and the rsi is flat so this was a major quite a big pullback from the 20 exponential so that is uh, going to be a lot of support around the 20 exponential so we could see this uh, uh, just bounce off the 20 and go back to where the very highs. If we break below the 20, then the 50 and the middle of the bullish band right here at 1653 will also offer quite a lot of support. So let's look at uh, Cardano. So Cardano had a major rally um, today and you can see that the market just opened now. It also continues this rally. So we hit the highs here of 1.44, fell all the way down towards the 0 0.95 to the bottom of the bullish band. And now we had a massive rally uh, today of roughly 20% before pull, uh, pulling back quite aggressively. But we continue this rally now and when the market has just opened. Technical English are all looking very uh, bullish. We're going to have a crossing of the signal line here indicating bullish momentum. So it looks like we're going at least towards the top of the bullish band at 1.31 before finding resistance. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin were similar to the other big cryptocurrencies that uh, like uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. It had rallied above the uh, Bollinger Band and then pulled back the last three trading days. Found support at the middle of the Bollinger Band at this 189 and then bounced. So at the moment, market just opened. It is a, not a very impressive uh, opening. Technical indicators also are fairly all over the place. As the MACD is crossing the signal line, indicated bearish momentum, stochastic is bearish, as CCI is flat, and the RSI is flat. But this pullback here could be indication that, well, this is probably as far as this would go. If this breaks, then we open the door to the 50 at 185, and that has been major support in the past. So rally from here, that will test basically... Um, test the top of the bullish band of $223. So let's look at NEO. So we can see NEO, the, well, this is one of the cryptocurrencies that really nothing is happening in. So it had this major rally here from the beginning of 2021 all the way to the mid February, and then it fell apart. Since then, it has gradually grinded uh, to the upside, but the last two weeks, it basically has just gone flat. Nothing has really happened here, not a lot of volatility whatsoever. And uh, we are still trading above the 20 exponential and the 50. And as long as that is the case, well, this is keeping a float to, to the upside. Break below these moving averages, that basically 
will drop significantly, at least to 30 and then all the way down to the $222. Technical indicators, they are slowly turning around to the upside, but still, there's not a lot of movement in this cryptocurrency. So let's look at Dash. So Dash is basically the same graph, also major move and then fell apart mid-February, uh, gradual grind and it's basically just the same. Most of these um, cryptocurrency have the same pattern. They had this major move and then they fall, fell apart in February and uh, they haven't really recovered um, compared to uh, some of the big, the big cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. They have recovered and rallied to, to even higher levels. These have not done that. Whether or not they will, well, there has to be more momentum to the upside than we are seeing at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to follow us here on Ethereum. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.